Oh, fuck. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, my internet, uh, my power just went off for a few seconds. I don't know why. And so uh, let's just continue here. And scale these scales down. And uh, let me look at uh, uh, the roughness here. I'm just going to add a color mix RGB. Uh, to control the roughness a bit. Yeah, my power went off for a brief moment. I'm not sure why. It like for a first split second. It wasn't even a full second. How much you earn in a month? <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, that's a that's a question I can answer here on live. Uh, anyway, so let me get these lines. Actually, what I can do is. Uh, I don't want these lines. I, I want them to be extended at the back there. Uh, so what I can do is uh, create uh, so create a mask that cuts them off from the back and uh, from the front here. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I can't uh, really share that information right now. Uh, so this is our gradient. So what I can do is add a math node here. Just play with it and that can push this to the back and I can also have another one uh, that starts on the back. I think I can do, let's try a subtract uh, which is basically doing the same thing uh, but I want uh, the mask to be from this side uh, so what to do that I can just multiply how long have you been on YouTube? Uh, I think it was since 2015. Multiply by negative one, and that should give us an inverse of this. And uh, then I can just uh, blend the two and create a mask like that. And this mask can be used after the here. I can use this. Here. Yeah, we are back. Yeah, I'm not sure why my internet went off. It uh, kind of sucks. Uh, let me just use add. Uh, maybe multiply. Let's see our mask, how this looks. So this is our mask and uh, I need to use uh, to invert it again by multiplying it by negative one and um, then adding it or multiplying it to this and that should give us that do you have a discord server yes i do uh, let me share the link here yeah i have you just i haven't uh, set up nightbot uh, for that to work for those commands to work I'm, I'm, I don't know why, I just guess, I guess I'm uh, a bit lazy, uh, but I should have that set up. Okay, so yeah, now we have our memo with all the colors like that. Now, what we lack is, uh, what we lack is and maybe the scales are making him a bit old, I think. Uh, we can scale this down. Uh, we can scale the, the scales down just a bit. Something like that. In a profile picture of Discord, is that you? Yeah, I think I, I think that's me. Uh, let me see actually, let me see, because uh, I don't remember uploading anything there. Yeah, 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 that's me. That is me. Can we found everything on Patreon? Well, the way my Patreon works is that uh, you have to request the project you want and then I can send it to you. Uh, the reason why I do it like that is because if I just uploaded everything I have, uh, it would kind of be it would be too much so i just 
make sure that uh, uh, the projects are requested first. So let's create these teeth. I think I can isolate, I can, ex let's just shift D, or duplicate this, then extrude it down like that. And uh, shift H, uh, actually control L, then shift H uh, to isolate that. And all I need is, uh, let me first get this closer. Just make them sharper. Make the teeth sharper like that. And I think I also I need to be, uh, please uh, accept my request. Uh, did you send it, where did you send it? On uh, this code? I haven't checked out Discord as in a few days. Ah, some interesting. Look at this furniture here. Does anyone know where I would even begin starting? Right there. Start modeling this awesome great resources. Actually, this is not that hard. Maybe I can do a tutorial on that. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, accept later. Let me first get back to the modeling of this piece. So for the teeth, are we just going to use a simple material? And if, okay, the teeth, uh, this is too wide. Just make it as thin and uh, to sharp like that. So you can add in some dents here, just by simply Leveling this. So we have something like that. I think I can uh, grab this. I just joined. I'm down of you invisible. Yeah, I haven't really set up my Instagram, but uh, I'm planning on doing that uh, because I, I want to be uh, to get on Instagram more, maybe promote my art a little bit more uh, than I've been doing. Uh, so when I do that, when I set up my Instagram, I'll s start to share it with you guys. So I think uh, that's good for the teeth. Let's unhide this. see if I push this back you see how we get uh, that kind of a dimple just bring this forward like that I, I think uh, the other thing uh, that might be lacking here is let's go back to this is uh, the subsurface scattering so let's going to get this color I just push that in as our subsurface. Make me moderator. I will make your Discord server good. Uh, well, I, I don't think I, I need a moderator right now because uh, uh, people are, seem to be behaving. Uh, there's no reason for me to use a moderator right now. Okay, let me just... Uh, this is supposed to be go into the color. Thank you, Thoughtless All. I think I can increase the radius a bit here. Let's start working on the lighting just a bit. So go here. And uh, maybe before we even do that, let's uh, continue. Let's first make these wings. Hello. Kumar, uh, 33, glad to see you here. Okay, so for these, I actually can make them separately. Uh, 
so that is it is it will be just much easier to do it that way so i can start with this your nemo looks crazy <laughs> thank you thank you is it like crazy crazy or crazy okay let's uh add in a few extra edge loops here actually you can add a subdivision and uh, look at the wireframe and uh, this can be a good starting point for that fin because we are creating this fin let me turn on proportional editing like so grab this and uh, now let's see how we can approach this so we have this loop here and we have a few other loops going through like this now the issue is going to be around here so i think uh, what we can do are these fingers can be uh, we're going to have to do something like this and uh, that means we can have a vertex come here maybe splits around here then we'd have something like this repeat it here so we have a y uh, then repeat it again like that let's see let's see if we can do that uh, first thing first i'm going to first flatten uh, this part here and actually make it concave is it concave i think i think so so we have one, two, three, four, five, six fins. So let's see what we can do is have, let me just bring this here. One, two, six. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We need one vertex. Let me redistribute these. Yeah, I'm making the fin. I am making the fin. Thank you, Nitha Sun Graphics. Just redistribute these a bit. What's your computer specs? Ah, uh, uh, this is it. Uh, that's my CPU. Ah, uh, this is my memory, and uh, this is my GPU. It's a GTX 1060. So, for this, we can just add a loop there, add a loop there, add a loop there, add a loop there for each of all the for, for everything for every kind of bone we're going to give it a loop like so then what we can do you can see the fins kind of widen at the bottom here so let's just add a loop here and i think i can select uh, the middle edge like that and that should help us widen other uh, fins at the bottom there and i think i can do it again here and uh, that way the fins are a bit wider and then become smaller and smaller at the top so here you can just make them wider sorry uh, small i can make the bones smaller by just scaling at that final edge just like so Maybe make this a bit like that. Guys, is it okay if I have 16 GB crosshair? Well, it, 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 it usually depends on what you're doing. Uh, but uh, yeah. So the other thing we can do is uh, I can select uh, these parts here. then insert them but i think i need to first make sure that this at the bottom here is uh, much smaller than uh, what we have so something like, something like this and i can grab this grab this grab this grab this grab this insert like that and now i can even push it push this down a bit maybe scale by nvidia origins like that now if i 
turn on proportional editing, sorry, turn on subdivisions. You can see we're already starting to see some things and push this down even further so we see what we have. Now, this here can be merged into one vertex. So I'm just going to merge that, repeat, repeat. Now let me turn on proportional edit. Let me turn on my shortcuts for you guys. Just make sure I'm saving uh, because anytime power can go off, uh, the same way it did. And so we have that. And uh, I think we can also grab this. Uh, which monitor do you have? Uh, I have an, I have two HP monitors. Uh, I don't even know what the model is. So let's just grab this down like that. Just set my 3D cursor, origin to 3D cursor. Then mirror this on the Z axis. And uh, if we have the subdivisions on, you can see uh, let me just turn on, bring this up a bit, grab this edge loop, turn on clipping, just bring it down. And uh, that's going to be our fin. And now that we have this, we can even use it for other parts. So uh, this is this fin, but uh, you can see we can also use it for the back fin here, uh, this top fin, and every other fin that uh, we need, we might need for this. I also just grab these, have them connected like that. I think I need an extra, uh, let me see. I need this connected like that, close like that. And so this can work uh, for the tail fin. Uh, this, uh, is it the dorsal fin or something? How much inches? Uh, I don't know, 27? I think it's a 27 inch. Both are, are 27 inches. I think. I haven't really measured. Uh, we calculate normals. We calculate normals. Let's see, let's see what's going on here. Okay, now let's join this fin uh, to where it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to grab it. And just uh, rotate it a bit. Like so. Have you done a Blender course? Yeah, I have a, a Blender course on Udemy, but uh, it's dated. It's too old uh, to be uh, to be used, I think. And if I apply the mirror for this, join this here. Now we need to have a way of connecting uh, the rest of this. And if I grab this, we want to have this connected onto the body. So what I can do is uh, let me first see if I can split this. So if you hit V, I think. Uh, you can split uh, the mesh. So I'm just going to pull this back a bit. I mean, also turn on subdivisions for a second. Just have this connected like that. I'll do the same at the bottom here. And now we just need uh, to, let's try. We can add an edge loop here or we can let me see if this would work uh, because we have a lot of polygons uh, that uh, need to be connected to this. Let's first uh, just select this edge loop and this edge loop and bridge edge loops like that. Now let's just grab this. Just uh, uh, something like that. Now, of course, we need to do some cleaning up. 
as uh, we have fewer fewer edge loops connected uh, than needed. I, I think we can merge some of these edge loops here uh, so that we have fewer edge loops again. I can get rid of this, get rid of that. I do the same here. Some of these can be merged. Yeah, Blender is worthy learning. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, being adapted by a lot of, uh, by most of the industry now. Just have this connected like that. Yeah, I like Blender more because that's why you see I use it more than I use Maya. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let me see what I can also. I think I can also grab an extra edge loop, create another extra edge loop here from here. Shouldn't matter too much. Yo, thank you for subscribing, simple guy. I can dissolve some of these vertices. The back needs a lot of work. But, uh, This can come here. Maybe this can be merged with that vertex like that. Get rid of this. Let's see how this looks with subdivisions. I think this looks fine. The opposite fin need to be very small. The, the opposite fin needs to be very small. That's then the right fin. Uh, you mean, oh, you mean this fin here needs to be smaller? Ah, I, I can see that. But I think we can do that after we apply the mirror modifier. Right now we still need that. How much you charge for freelancing? Uh, it depends on the project. Okay, so this is what we have. Uh, we need uh, the fin, the back fin here. So I'm just going to duplicate this again and just rotate it uh, to size it up. Size, size it up to this. Now. Let me first turn off this and the mirror modifier. Let me actually mirror this on the Y axis, apply scale. So this is what we have, but you can see there are more, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 fins, and we only have one, two, three, four, five, or uh, six. So we need almost to double uh, the number of fins we have. So to do that, let me first actually just double this like this, maybe somewhere like that. Uh, let me, somewhere like that. So actually what I need to do is, uh, let me select all the vertices up here, uh, delete them, and just grab as something like a, uh, I don't know. This duplicate it. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then another one mirrored eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're getting more than we need, uh, but that's okay. And then what we all, all the, all the other thing, we, now what we can do is just 
merge these up. I have, a, I have one question. You do subscriber, subscriber only mod in chat. No, there is no need for subscriber only mod in chat. At least not yet. Yes. Now I just have to merge these vertices. Maybe down proportional everything. Uh, have this on connected just uh, to grab parts of this. Just merge that. That. Like that. And I guess. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we don't need uh, these top parts. All we have to do is just mirror this. Control M, mirror this. I think we just need to mirror this like so. We can get rid of this. Control L. Like that. Actually, this has to be disconnected from this fin. So then just grab uh, this. Have this connected. Merge at the center, merge at the center, the center, like that, like that, like so, like so, and uh, maybe this should be the calculate normals, and uh, we have our tail fin. And uh, the other thing we can do is just select this outer ring. Hello, Tusha. How are you? Yes. Kind of proportional editing. Just uh, push it out. Maybe add a loop here. Just give it a quick rotation. Maybe just like that. I'll give it. Uh, actually, I think we can do that when we when it comes to the rigging part. So we can bring this in. If us. Get rid of the mirror modifier and uh, also get rid of uh, this portion. So the dead faces. I can just join this and I start merging uh, the two. So I can just merge them by just connecting them at the center like that. Let me turn off proportion uh, mirror this. Let me get grab that. To the last, I think I can uh, add a cut here. Have this connected to that. Then here, let me just have something like that. I can bring back the mirror. Just make sure that uh, everything is connected correctly. Even at the back here. Like so. And we have our fin. So if I turn on proportional editing, see what we have. have a fish so then we need this I think it's called I don't know is it the dosophene something just rotate this 90 degrees and that it needs to be actually we can just reuse this uh, because are uh, there 
they have the same number of I seem to have the same number of uh, bonds in them so let me first hide this for a second just scale this down kind of proportional editing make sure it's set to connected and just align uh, these vertices uh, to kind of match I think we can even do something like this to emphasize uh, the bonds the bonds inside are uh, this and uh, maybe this is a bit smaller so we make it smaller I think uh, this part here actually I think we can also push this your subscriber daily increase by 1k literally yeah that's uh, no, that's not true. Okay, let's uh, grab this. Actually, let's uh, see. I need this edge loop to kind of be extended like this uh, because I want I have a, a smaller fin. something like that so I can uh, come in here now the problem is going to be kind of joining this so let me first extend this forward and I actually need to be uh, this has to be a bit thinner. So we have a lot of vertices in this fin and then we have here. Uh, so it's going to be a bit harder to connect. But uh, let's see. I'm wondering how to rig a cartoon squirrel character, whether to use rigify meta rig or a cut, cut rigify add-on. I haven't done a lot of character rigging, so I really don't know. I'm just going to select this part here up to where the fin ends. Insert them, except I just going to, I need to get rid of this middle and uh, the reason I added this was so uh, that uh, we can easily connect uh, these portions, uh, these pieces together. I think I can get rid of uh, this part. I think up to, I can, let me first turn off the mirror modifier for a second. I need to get rid of Uh, I need to get rid of uh, this edge. Just make sure I'm saving. If I side this for a second. Get rid of that. Unhide. And uh, let's try connecting this. You know what? I think, I think the, the better approach would be to just to recreate this fin directly uh, from the verses we have here uh, because we are giving us ourselves a lot of work if we decide to do it the way I wanted to do it first. And uh, just going to grab this, move it to the back, push it to the back, just bring in this edge like that, maybe push it down a bit. Now you can see there is a split one, a split here. So I think I, we need a loop here. 
let me just use smooth and I think I can uh, grab this face just push it down and uh, this side doesn't have to shouldn't be there I think this is also a bit rounded I can also add a loop around here so now I can bring back the mirror uh, just so also we need to make sure that this is connecting correctly so I'm just going to grab this and make sure we have clipping turned on make it straighten it and I also need this edge loop or these faces to be rotated correctly Now for this here, for these fins, those are kind of hard because I don't want to use a lot of polygons for this uh, because it's kind of a, a low poly model. But uh, in order to get them, I would have to add in quite a lot of polygons. But uh, let's see what we can do. So I think what I can do is just bevel an edge like this push it out like that and uh, at the base here make it wider maybe subdivide it and make it uh, scale something like this I think I can even just do it uh, this way Kind of have a firm base here. Look at that. Now that can work as a fin. It just needs to be connected somewhere. Let me see if I get rid of this. If uh, if it still looks like a fin. Okay. Now we need uh, to subdivide uh, this further. Uh, to make it look like an actual fin. So let's do that. Maybe. Yeah, this should be thinner at the top here. And wider at the base. So we can repeat this for all these edge loops. So control B. subdivide this then we can come back in and start scaling I scale this in do something like that yes get this again here these push them out
Yo, th thank you, Shiv, uh, for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Just grab this so we can have uh, that wavy uh, setup. Something like this. Of course, we can add more fins, but uh, yeah, kind of getting tired of the fins. So now let's see what else can we add. Yeah, the, the fins are really tricky. You need to spend quite a lot of time on uh, making them look good. And uh, and if you don't want to spend a lot of time on this, uh, the fins need a lot of time, I think. So you see, we have created an end gun here, but uh, a nice way to remove it is just start connecting it like this. So start connecting the fins directly. Uh, that should uh, reduce on the size of the end gun. So the fins kind of need a lot of work, which I don't want to invest in this. Yeah, you see, we need like 10 of these and I would just only got like three. And maybe I can even make this another fin. Let me first connect this. Problem is every time you add a fin, you need to figure out where you want uh, the edge look to end up. So I don't want to add uh, too much resolution. Yes, scale this at the top. Grab this edge loop and push it out again. And uh, we can have another fin like that. Can make it a bit thicker by just grabbing this edge loop and uh, pushing it maybe out a bit. If you have time, you can even add in uh, the ones for this back fin. But uh, let's work on some lighting and maybe make uh, the eye look better. So let's uh, first focus on the eye for a second. I think the eye, what we can do is, uh, the eye looks, uh, let, let's go to uh, the eye material, the eyeball. Uh, the first thing I notice is that uh, it has some kind of gradient. So if I add an ambient occlusion, I can create that kind of uh, that uh, gradient. Make sure that I have ambient occlusion turned on. Screen space reflections and uh, screen space refractions. Let me see. I want to use ambient occlusion over at math node. Just use power. Yeah, so. I want to kind of have that same gradient there. So I can use it to mix. I want to have a kind of greenish color in there. I am wondering a new material for the fin, for the fin, fin part and add some bumps. Yeah, that, that can work. But uh, the bumps will not get the fins to look like that either. So that's our eye. Now the eye is going to have to be a two-part thing. So 
I think uh, what we can do is uh, duplicate the eye again, and scale it up a bit. Uh, this time uh, it's going to use kind of a glass material, a glass surface, so a sign. And uh, this is going to simply be a glass shader, so a glass shader like that. And uh, it's going to have sp screen space reflections or refractions uh, so that we can see what's underneath it like that. Then what we are going to do is uh, first hide that for a second. Now come to the eyeball, which I think can start at around here. I need to make sure that this is set to one. Can start at there. And uh, what we're going to do with this is just insert it for a second. Insert it and then mirror it, control M, I think, uh, yeah, on the Z axis and then move it in like that. So our eye, actually this here has to be a bit thicker, maybe even should have. So if you look at closely, you can see how uh, the eye has some nice detail to it now. So let us get this, Control L, Shift Hide, or Control L, Hide. Now the eye, uh, which should be uh, this portion here, or using the, uh, this material, we can create a few things. So the first thing I can do is uh, unwrap this. Just make sure that's a, uh, it's at the center there of the UV map. So I'm just going to use our text input texture coordinate. And uh, this is going to be a UV coordinate. Okay, uh, the eye looks kind of cool like that, but uh, let's go use some UV coordinates. And I'm going to separate, convert, separate X, Y. Uh, I think it's uh, X, Y. And actually, this is not what I want. I want to add a texture gradient, a gradient texture. And I make sure that uh, I use the, how is it called, spherical. And I'm just going to add a convert car ramp here. Uh, it's going to give us asphalt inside there so so we can use this as a mask and uh, we can also let's actually do it let, let me first isolate this eye and also hide everything else so let me actually just do this so what we can do with this uh, we can get a uh, texture noise texture uh, because i want to create those inner fibers. So we have, I want a texture, noise texture. Uh, this is our texture. It can use any maybe coordinate mapping like that. And uh, we can use this gradient uh, to drive uh, the vector. Uh, that's giving us a spherical direction, uh, which is not something I expected, but uh, I can use a convert math node And I want to scale, uh, let us see what we have. Use a power node here to amplify our vector here. So this is what we have. I want to scale this, to stretch this inward. At, uh, instead we are getting kind of a spin. So let me see if we, uh, combine x, y are uh, the gradients. I just map this to the set this to one, set this to one. It's not exactly giving me what I expected.
I wanted to straight this on a single axis. Let me see. Actually, there's a better way to do this. Uh, if we grab, if this is using our UV map, we can create an, another UV map. So it can go to the UV texture, create a new UV, UV map, and use that as the mapping. And you can see nothing strange about it. But uh, if we get that, uh, let me just grab this. I'm trying to see what 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 is the best way to straight this. Uh, actually, I can add an edge loop here. Sorry, uh, what is it called? I can add a seam here. Control max seam. Just select uh, this portion uh, that we want to stretch. Unwrap that. Maybe add add a seam here. Control E max seam. Control L, unwrap, uh, because I want it to be a straight map. So I think I can do, select this edge, Control L. Uh, actually, I need to use follow active codes. That is going to give us something like this. Okay, now I need to straighten these. Let me first hide this. Ctrl L, hide. Ah, uh, you can see it's giving us an interesting texture. But uh, before we do that, let's uh, just first straighten this. Three to the cursor. Let me first. Scale this. Just straighten these UVs. Straighten a uh, square. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of forgot that. So I think you just straighten one you, you straighten the active code then yeah thank you for reminding me that uh, to kind of to straighten uh, that like that now if we go back here you can see that uh, we're already seeing some stretching actually I need this to be straight and I can turn on proportional editing now now let's use linear I think if I, if I stretch this from this side Uh, giving me a different result. Hmm. This is not really giving me what I expected. Let's see. Try adding Voronoi texture. With texture mapping, set the no more scale, no more unscale the y axis. So you're saying I try adding a Voronoi because I, I want them to stretch inwards, are like fibers. So texture Voronoi. Let me see. It's still. Now that uh, the UV is flat, add mapping setup and play with the axis. Uh, if I add mapping setup, it's just going to, it's not going to stretch it the way I want. 
See, it's just moving them in the same axis. Because what I want is uh, to have them stretch in the middle. So let me see if I say this. I, would, I had I had thought that uh, doing this would do it, but it's just giving us. Let's try a uh, leniency. It's just giving me a different. Set it to normal. Uh, spherical. Set this to normal, you mean? Hmm. Normal seems like it could do what we want. Let's see. If I add a, a, in, a vector mapping. Wrong UV maybe. This is harder than I expected. Scale it on Y axis. It's just stretching it on the same axis. Mapping to normal. Mapping to normal. So I've mapped it to the normal already. And you can see it's stretching it in a different way than I want. What I was hoping is that uh, uh, because we have a, we can stretch this. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why this is not working here. Why is this is giving us a spin? Hmm. Mapping node. Set this to normal. Do you do you mean like this? Ah. I think this works. Ah, thank you, Burning Bright. You see, I told you you know your way around Blender, and you are refusing to, you are objecting. Let's see. Yeah, so if you use, it seems that uh, if you use, and I think this also, is this also working? So if you map this to the UV, uh, you get uh, the stretch. You get this stretched, but uh, you don't really get enough detail. But I think what we can do now is uh, just this scale on the x axis on the y axis. Uh, that just widens uh, this in object. Uh, it's just scaling them on the same axis. Uh, what this was enough, I think. Uh, this is enough. Uh, what we can do is uh, maybe use this other vector for uh, the need, uh, which is also going to give us the same thing. Maybe you can mix uh, the two here. Uh, what I want is to have some extra detail in the in there and I think we can achieve it by simply blending at the noise like this and I maybe add a contrast a color ramp here let me play with the scale Yeah, that's going to be our eye. Take help uh, with color ramp. Uh, take help. I'm not sure what you mean there. 
Okay, so we want this to have a yellowish color and there's some black spots and there may be another extra level of detail in there what are we for the spots uh, for these spots or for what, what spots and now i think uh, since we already have this mask we can use that color mix rgb so this is going to be our mask And uh, that's our eye. We can use even we can use this for uh, the bump as well. For the eye, instead of using a regular noise, oh, you mean here? Uh, because I'm using the Voronoi here already. So you mean I duplicate this uh, Shift D. I mean here. Oh, it's, yeah, it seems more interesting. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, you're right. Kind of seems more interesting. Maybe we can also try it here. Let's try Manhattan. Let's try. Are the people look small? Ah, that's true, that's true. So for the people, we just have to use a multi. We just have to, let's see. To make the pupil bigger, I just have to bring this out. that it's perfect now huh. yeah that uh, was a result of your efforts thank you thank you because i was kind of struggling there uh, anyway so let's uh yeah we have the eye now we still have to rig it to kind of make it work let's make him look in the camera Set up the camera to kind of look uh, the same as well. Play with these. Now I think we can use a paint tool to paint the rest here. So for that, let me see where this, where we can do this. I think we can do it here. I can add a texture, image texture. I think the nose is too small, it's too flat. Ah, okay, we can come back to that. Yo, thank you for subscribing, Mateus. Uh, so let's uh, add a texture, image texture. Because we want to blend uh, the uh, the uh, the procedure texture with uh, some details. Because you see the fins are white, or the 
ends here are white. So to do that, we are going to create a new map. Uh, we can use a 2K texture here and paint it. We can start with a black canvas. Uh, I think this has to be UV unwrapped. So I'm going to unwrap this yet again. Just grab everything, rotate this 90 degrees like so. Now to paint this, uh, we need to go into paint mode, texture paint, and you can see it's already working. So to make this work, what we're going to do is just uh, blend the two. So I'm just going to grab this and just make sure that uh, we set this to screen. Screen, 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 where is screen, 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 I can't see screen. Multiply. Oh, I need to use a, a blending mode. So it's going to be screen, set to screen. That way when I paint over, you get something like that. So if I preview the final thing, see ah, you can see I can paint uh, the thin details in right like that and uh, if I paint I paint black I can just erase uh, those fins so I think uh, this also comes all the way here so we have that looking like that and I think that's it that's our Nemo and I if you want you can even add in lines uh, simply like that so the other thing I need to do is make sure that this image is saved so let's go to that and save as paint Let's go back to this and uh, let me see. Actually, this here, uh, let's first get this back connect to connect here. This here, uh, this piece here. I think has to be connected before uh, the noise. Otherwise, oh, we're not going to have this distortion. So I'm just going to have this connected to this. So we have that. Let me see. Yeah, something like that. And then finally, hmm. The texturing is so bad. <laughs> How would you texture this? Well, I think uh, this is the most efficient way to do it. Uh, actually, I think let's first undo this and uh, just make sure that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, for this fin here. I think uh, we can go back to this texture, go back to texture paint, uh, to texture paint. Uh, the first ring goes around, around the face. Oh yeah, around the face here. So I think I can uh, just run through the fin. Yeah, so let's first erase the fin. Uh, the fin here. Actually, I can't erase this unless uh, this. Let me see. Mm. 
uh, actually since the fin can be a, is a separate we can separate it as a mesh i think this is using object mapping so i think how uh, we can grab the fin let's go back to uv editor uv editor unwrap this Ah, because we are using object mapping, uh, we can't affect uh, the color of the fin. Un unless if we paint this. This is pretty cool. You're going to make uh, them swim and get lost, <laughs> make the 3D movie. Yeah, that would take me uh, quite a few years. Uh, that's why it looked odd to, uh, uh, to me, but I couldn't put my finger around it. Yeah. Uh, the fin has to be a separate color. So what I think I can do is, uh, let me see. I need to find out, to, to figure out a way uh, to kind of paint over this. So I think we would need a different UV map and a different image here. So because this is like this. And uh, if we paint, paint on it white. Let me see, does that get rid of that? If I paint on it white, I, uh, I'm just adding color to it. If I paint uh, this black, I'm just erasing uh, this except uh, this. So, not what I meant, okay, but at this point, I would just paint uh, the stripes. Yeah, you know what? I think we should do that uh, because um, I was uh, creating, uh, um, I was using procedure nodes, but uh, they're kind of giving us more headache. So let's get rid of this procedure part, uh, which should be, uh, which should be around up to here. So now when we paint, yeah, let's just paint other stuff. Uh, just going to, oh, and his face seems to be kind of a bit forward. I just grab this. And maybe pull this face a bit. Uh, this will also fix uh, the nose maybe, hopefully. Uh, so that is kind of pushing out a little bit. So that is not too flat. Yeah, so let's uh, paint out this. Let's go back here. Takes a paint, takes a paint. So we can draw uh, this coming here. And then I think, okay. Comes in here like that. Goes down like that and then connects at the bottom, like that. Yeah, I, I think uh, Master Blender is just trolling or something because, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe they select the fins vertex part and uh, assign a new material. That would also just give us more headache. I, I've decided to just go with the painting, but, uh, just painting it di directly. Like so. Maybe still, uh, uh, did you do the one normal fin? One tiny fin? Oh, I haven't done that because I, I would need to uh, first apply the mirror modifier, which we are still using. 
Let's first paint out these black spots. Like so. Yes. And uh, come here. Uh, let's paint. I think uh, this middle spot is a bit wider. Yeah, so s something like that. And uh, uh, this extends up here at around uh, there and also extends. It comes around the fin. Like that. Then comes all the way down. And uh, we also need to paint uh, this back part like so. Now we're having some issues here uh, with this, especially with this fin. Let me just grab it and uh, look at its UV map. So let me just put it somewhere else uh, so that it's not getting in the way. Like that. Uh, the top two fins, uh, the first one is larger and the second one is smaller. Uh, that, uh, actually, that's, uh, that's kind of true. So the second one is quite small. So let's just grab this. Just scale down. I think I can bring it a bit here. And now you can see I don't want these lines to be too straight, flat like that. Uh, so we can use. Uh, this mask here, uh, this noise map, let me see, I don't know, let me just leave it like that. So the other thing we might need is uh, to work on the subsurface color. Let's set up the lighting for a second here. Just going to maybe also rig this a little bit uh, so that we can control the fins. Let's rig this up. Uh, but before we rig this, let me just create a backup copy of this uh, because we want to apply the mirror uh, so that we can make this fin smaller as expected it also needs to <laughs> uh, the uh, the fin also we need to change uh, the texturing to have this black edge uh, but I think uh, we can do that later so let's try rigging this I'm not very good at rigging, but uh, let's see. You can start uh, the rig from here. Just grab this. And uh, we can use, I think, uh, bendy bones. Are they called bendy bones? So if you have a bone like this, you can go to uh, bendy bones and uh, just subdivide this. make them into segments. I think I need to change the the viewport display. Is it the viewport display? The shape of the bones are to be able to see uh, the segments here. So uh, let's go to viewport and uh, yeah, use B bones. And now you can see the segments. So if I try to rig this, I just pass extend maybe 
let's extend this if I go to pause mode and uh, try to rotate this you can see that uh, we get that kind of spiny look uh, so I can also go back to this and uh, subdivide this a few times so when I rotate this I uh, will get that and I need it to be uh, the same for this side so so when I rotate this I can get the same effect and uh, what else uh, we can also rig the, the fins so I'm just going to add another bone another bone there and maybe another bone around there and another bone around there can get these parent them to that control P keep offset get this parented to this control P keep offset get this parent this to this keep offset can also get one for the mouth part and uh, these should be aligned their respective fins now let's try posing this or bringing this up control P and control P and it's control P with automatic weights And the eyes have to be connected I rigged up to the bone so I'll select this and this control control P out to the bone like that now let's see how the okay so this are uh, the fins rotate nicely And I think what we can do is uh, let me see if if this if this can uh, okay that's not bad uh, this looks awesome I grew up with this film and it's been very satisfying wa watching you bring him to into blender and learning what he's capable with uh, thank you thank you thank you I see. Yeah, let me actually make this. So, is there is there anyone in the chat who has not watched uh, this movie? Because I feel like uh, everyone has. Ah, we need fins for. Uh, we need bonds for uh, the fins here. So. And I think they can also be bendy bones. Burning Branch, you haven't watched <laughs> Nemo. <laughs> Finding Nemo. Feels like that's a lie, man. Must be very, very young. Like, I don't know. Because this is a popular mu movie. One of the most popular movies, I think. Animated movies. Let's try this again. Control B with automatic bonds. Red Spark Studio, you haven't as well. Wow. So a few, a few of you haven't really watched Nemo. Huh. Interesting. I think I'm going to need. Not a lie. Well, kinda. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but I guess it is possible. Uh, let 
me just see connected keep them connected just going to now if you want to have this mirrored all you have to do is uh, make sure you name them properly so this can be bond.l or fin fin dot now uh, is this right and uh, if i duplicate this around i can mirror this on the x-axis and uh, just call this left uh, this is left uh, this is thin to dot left so this is thin to thin to dot right and uh, if we turn on mirrored you can see now i can just control one and uh, uh, the rest works and I think I can also uh, duplicate this. Uh, this should be mouth dot right uh, dot right, uh, so that we have mouth dot left. Can again. Uh, I think we also need some bits here uh, because I saw. Whenever I was controlling, I was rotating the other fins. They're also affecting uh, this lower part. So I'm adding those bonds so that uh, they don't do that anymore. So again, control P with automatic weights. Please do toothless a for from how to train a dragon. Let me see how complicated this one would be toothless. Let me see how difficult would this guy be? Okay, his face would definitely be the hardest part. It uh, doesn't look too complicated, I think. It's, it's mostly the face that's usually the hardest part. Oh, I, th I think uh, these are. Uh, uh, these fins have to be parented to this. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Cryptek. Uh, let's give this a quick animation. I'm going to first turn off uh, the subdivisions uh, because, uh, yes, yeah, so. It's a bit faster. I think I can have the uh, the rig below the subdivisions uh, to make uh, this a bit faster. So let's see. Now it's much smoother. And I actually can, uh, since we have already rigged this, I can duplicate this. Uh, this this can be parented. Yeah, parented this, and I can use Shift A, Shift. Uh, it's the uh, shift shift i ah uh, no it should be this to this shift i now okay this is not working out as i expected alt p maybe should have this parented to this maybe parented uh, to this Hmm. Actually, let's not use IK constraints for now because uh, I'm not very good at IK constraints. Anyway, let's uh, give this some sort of animation. So I'm just going to let's start with us. This rotate, rotate the fin as well. I think uh, to make the the fin more bendy, I need like two of bon two bonds here. So this 
to this subdivide this or divide these again keep offset uh, keep offset and uh, since we have changed uh, this we need we still let me see ah we don't can uh, have this actually have this we can start off with that s and then let me change the frame rate here at something like 60 so let me just keyframe all keyframe all at frame 60 can do the same thing and i think let me see can i mirror the pause Control M. No, I can go to the pause. Go to frame thirty. Pause. Can I? I used. To, I remember seeing a kind of a mirror pause option. I don't. I just don't remember where exactly I saw that. But uh, that's okay. We can just redo this change uh, this yeah, so and uh, then I can repeat this actually let's set the keyframe to 60 and uh, This can also be animated at uh, this frame. It can be this side, and then at frame 30, it goes at uh, the opposite side. And at frame 60, we repeat the animation. Uh, same thing here. If this is rotating this side, how uh, we can just have it offset a bit. I repeat the same animation at frame 60, but at frame 30, it should be in the opposite direction. How about a wave modifier with a light intensity? A wave modifier on the, uh, because modifiers can't work on, on bonds. So um, I imagine you, you meaning on the, on the actual fish. Let's see. A wave modifier <laughs> bouncing around, but uh, uh, and a wave modifier. But uh, let's see, I should be on the axis. What axis is this along? I first reduce, uh, increase this, the speed or reduce the speed. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, web modifier is not really doing it for me. Apply this only to the fins. Yeah, I think that could work. And I also think uh Uh, this fish is not moving at this point here and uh, maybe this is also going too far rotating too far so let's go back to the rotation i think it's the, the rotation z uh that's uh oh rotation y x So this here, I think it's going too far. So let's bring it back. 
actually should actually go it's not going far enough now a wave modifier but only on the on the tails so that means we need a vertex group a weight group a weight paint so ah huh. i need to make sure that uh, i create a new weight paint and i call this wave so that is not affecting uh, the rest of other uh, fish so only the tail should be affected and the fins so something like that make sure that the back is also being affected like that so that means here we can use the wave option uh, I want to make it go in the, in the opposite direction but uh, let me see if I set this to Y let's try I want it to go in the, this direction, but it's just going up and down. I like along normals. Let's see along the. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah, along the normal, but I uh, should have. Let's try. Uh, the width is yeah, you, you can see it's, uh, it's there but it's very subtle uh, which is what we want we don't want it to be too much I think we can also come back here and just come to this and uh, play with the vertical position here maybe actually that's try without bone animation Uh, let me first get rid of the rig then. Huh. Guess it would be great. Yeah, it would work. But I just want ah but the problem is that uh, uh if you don't use the rig you can't really do a lot of a lot of the animation. Uh, so maybe we can then add a curve to complete uh the animation auto. Just move it up, move it down, random extrude like that and uh, uh, this we could have an empty cube like this I parent this object to that control P and uh, then let me first get the origin of this just snap this to that position 
Let me first hide this, these so that we're only seeing this. And then I can give this a follow constraint. Follow, follow, follow constraint, follow. Path follow constraint. Select the path. Animate path. And just uh, move it closer. Go to the curve and uh, under path animation, just change the demo frames to something like 250. If you want to reduce uh, the speed, I'm just going to change this to 250. Now, because the animation of our bones is only 60 frames, what I can do is uh, just go, I think it's under uh, the NLA the nonlinear animation, just hit this button and then I can just duplicate this animation uh, so that is it's looped. Uh, to the length of our timeline. Now I can go to this constraint, follow curve, let's see. Uh, it's uh, following the curve, but uh, in the wrong direction. So let's fix that. Okay. And I think we can lock our camera onto this. Is this really animating? Let's just make sure that uh, everything Let's just make sure that this is looping. Go back to the constraints. And I can see that uh, in some areas, is is flipping uh the and uh, the fish is, is, is flipping i fix that we can just rotate the curve no more just uh just uh, like that in those areas now to make this look like actual fish what we can do is, uh, let me see, add a cube and just add it to this position. Maybe scale it like that. Give it some, modif some, yeah, some subdivision. I parent it to this object, Ctrl P, object. Then give it uh, a curve modifier. this just need to make sure that uh, it's using the same position and I'm going to give it give this uh, a particle system here actually we don't even need need it to be here can be it can be a meter but uh, in the physics we can use voids 
and uh, the render we can use object and select our Nemo to be our object and then uh, we can go into this let me first make sure that uh, turn off instancing uh, so that we only see Nemo and I can go back here change the particle size to 1 play with uh, randomness actually this is how we can change the other uh, flight to be sorry the I think it's a relationship to follow active to follow leader relationship uh, let me see let me see relations let me see void brain fuzzy we want to follow leader and the leader is uh, that empty now they're kind of disappearing uh, that's because our lifetime is a bit low so let's bring that up maybe reduce this to something like 50 particles hmm, this is not exactly what I thought would happen but uh, let me see let me see let me see uh, this would have to be here I want to create some bring the radius down bring the scale down I want to create a flock of these yeah actually that's how they would uh, be you just have to use a hair particle but uh, this here should be yes bring it closer maybe scale it down Just want to bring it closer to the curve. It seems quite impossible to do. It's supposed to be volume. And there. Maybe it doesn't even have to be parented uh, because that's causing a few issues. You can simply just follow the path as well. So just give it a constraint. You can just give it a constraint of follow path follow path should be the same path just need the right orientation Yeah, there's quite a lot to figure out here. So let me just end the live stream here. I think uh, what we have done is enough uh, for, let's see, for one hour and 50 minutes. Yeah, I'm okay with this. We have our Nemo character rigged up and everything else.
So let me first go back to the constraints, turn this off for a second so that uh, we just look at Nemo. And maybe you can uh, just do some lighting here. I think something like that. Okay, so Blender crashed and uh, I had not saved uh, the texture map we have that we had painted. So that's why you see that uh, it has disappeared. So we'd have to repaint this back. Yeah, I'm just going to do it very roughly here. And uh, this time I'm just going to make sure that I save. Otherwise, yeah, if uh, Blender crashes again, I won't recover this. So let's set up the camera again. I can hide these, we don't need them anymore. I can set up my camera here. I'm going to use cycles this time. Set up the lighting. Now you can s just go to the world, make sure this is completely dark. Let's see what we have. So this is our source of light for, light for now. Just bring it here. And I think I need a light at the bottom here. Actually, it should be around. Now for the background, uh, that should be simple. You can just add a plane. Have it way in the back there. And I think we can uh, start with uh, a gradient texture. So texture, gradient texture. And uh, we can use UV mapping for this. And I can just rotate this 90 degrees. And I can add a color ramp here uh, to just get the colors.
of course you can add in plants and everything else but uh Uh, for this, uh, let me f first make sure that the ambient occlusion is not too much. Uh, so this should be uh, let's see. I want to see the teeth, so, so I'm just going to, since we have the rig here, I can just can grab these Yeah, and uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, Critical Giants has a tutorial to make other flock. Ah, I'll check it out. Anyway, thank you for, for being around. I'll see you in the next live stream. Uh, if you want to get the project files, it will be available on my Patreon page.